Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Psalm 119 verse 114 You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Proverbs 16 verse 20 Whoever gives thought to the word will discover good, and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. Psalm 40 verses 1 to 3. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Isaiah 26 verses 3 to 4 You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Romans 8 verses 24 to 25 For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Psalm 31 verse 24 Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Psalm 34 verse 10 The young lions suffer want and hunger. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Psalm 56 verses 3 to 4 When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Psalm 16 verse 8 I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. 1 Peter 1 verses 6 to 7 In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Psalm 23 verse 4 
Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Romans 8 verse 18 For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17 For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19 Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Psalm 103 verses 2 to 5 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 34 verses 17 to 18 When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Isaiah 40 verse 31 but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Psalm 112 verse 7 He is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. Psalm 145 verse 18 The Lord is near to all who call on him to all who call on him in truth. Psalm 37 verses 4 to 5 Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Isaiah 30 verse 15 For thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Psalm 91 verse 4 He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. Romans 12 verse 12 Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 for God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Psalm 37 verse 7 Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Psalm 139 verse 14 I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, 
will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus. Isaiah 61 verse 3 to grant to those who mourn in Zion to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Matthew 6 verse 27 and which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? Psalm 62 verses 5 to 6 For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. 1 Peter 4 verses 12 to 13 Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you share Christ's sufferings that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. Hebrews 10 verse 23 Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Psalm 9 verses 9 to 10 The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. Psalm 34 verse 18 The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Psalm 27 verse 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Romans 5 verse 5 and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Isaiah 12 verse 2 Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7 Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, 
but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Psalm 16 verse 11 You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. James 1 verses 2 to 4 Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Hebrews 13 verse 6 So we can confidently say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Psalm 9 verse 10 And those who know your name put their trust in you, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Isaiah 41 verse 13 For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fear not, I am the one who helps you. Psalm 37 verse 5 Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. Psalm 62 verse 8 Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, either let them be afraid. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 16 to 18 So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Psalm 40 verses 1 to 2 I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. Proverbs 12 verse 25 Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. Psalm 94 verse 19 When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Isaiah 30 verse 18 Therefore the Lord waits to be gracious to you, and therefore he exalts himself to show mercy to you. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for him. 
Psalm 71 verse 14. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. Psalm 19 verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. 1 Peter 1 verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Psalm 37 verses 23 to 24 The steps of a man are established by the Lord, when he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong, for the Lord upholds his hand. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 4. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Isaiah 43 verse 1 But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Philippians 4 verse 19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Romans 5 verses 1 to 2 Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Psalm 9 verse 9 The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 8 to 9 We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Let all that you do be done in love. Psalm 34 verse 8 O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. These verses continue to emphasize the importance of hope, true, 